Thank you very much, Catherine. And I think that really does underscore what we were discussing, at what, I, what I started with. What we need to look at is what the key aspects are in terms of how they're made, what goes into them, and what comes out of them. And I think that what the PAS does is go a long way to giving us some answers on how we best deal with those issues. Um, speaking of how they're made, as we are very well aware, China plays a huge role in this market. And you cannot authoritatively discuss the issue of standards for vaping products without thinking about China. So we're very lucky to be joined by a good friend of mine who I first met in Shenzhen nearly a year ago, Yushu Zhu from uh, Ruvian, which is a, a leading Chinese manufacturer of pharmaceuticals and uh, also e-liquids. Um, Yushu is going to discuss e-liquid manufacturing under CGMP, which is a topic that should be close to the hearts of anyone who's in the manufacturing sector. So Yushu, if you'd like to come up and, uh, and, and start. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Um, I still remember uh, we had the similar topic uh, in Shanghai this uh, January, uh, which uh, all the um, majority of the Chinese uh, major uh, is the grid or liquid manufacturing gathered in Shanghai. Uh, actually, that's still the winter, and I still remember the weather was very bad. But we had a very uh, tough topic together, you know, to see how could China to survive for the future, you know, uh, to provide Europe and the US for the high quality products. So here, my topic is uh, standards in China, but which meet the challenge of regulatory work, uh, market. Um, I, I mainly focus on the uh, e-liquid manufacturing. So um, uh, will be introduction and uh, CJP manufacturing of e-liquid, and uh, make the conclusion on that. So first of all, I would to see you know uh, now in the world you can see because I when I travel to to Europe to uh, US, uh, I find more and more people you know have the smoke the e-cigarette. This is my personal experience, and this happened just. Uh, in, in about one year. Um, I found more people in Europe and the US smoke e-cigarette actually more than I, I see in China. This is a very interesting observation from me. Um, so um, a lot of people use e-cigarette as, as an alternative of the smoking or, or some people they just don't want you this to um, quit, this, quit smoking. Um, so uh, in that case, you know, the e-cigarette product standard needs to be uh, defined and recognized. So you can see um, uh, from the uh, medicine point of view, um, uh, from the uh, picture you can see well, well from material and become the uh, 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 inhaling uh, medicine, then the people inhaling to, to the uh, body. And the e-cigarettes more or less have a similar uh, route. So you use it in liquid, then use a the device, then uh, finally the people uh, wiping into the, uh, the body. So these two things have a similar uh, consequences. Uh, um, uh, the uh, aerosol actually is uh, directly inhaled to, to, to your lung. So um, this is one thing in common because these two um, things. So um, at this moment, uh, Actually, I joined uh, LATO uh, this April in uh, Las Vegas, US. Uh, the conference also invited uh, one of the uh, uh, director of the uh, tobacco, uh, Center of Tobacco Products. Uh, he also uh, speak at that conference, and uh, uh, he said the FDA also are very uh, concerned about how they're going to uh, public the, uh, the, the, the regulation you know, uh, for the US market. Um, so I, I Obviously, you know, e-liquid is not classified as a drug or, or food, uh, but uh, the uh, good manufacturing practice, these guidelines apply actually already in the uh, worldwide for the pharmaceutical industry, uh, provide a useful framework uh, for reference and uh, exploring potential standard for manufacturing <coughs> e-liquid. So here, that's why I want to uh, share with you uh, about uh, how uh, at the ravine we, we uh, produce uh, the liquid for our customers. So our company actually is just a custom manufacturer. We do not have our own brand uh, e-liquid. So um, 
for the uh, uh, CGMP current uh, good manufacturing practice of e-liquid, uh, they have uh, five areas, uh, one is raw materials, uh, then is uh, facilities and equipment, uh, then is this, this is like the uh, hardware. The software is like documentation, um, do you have it? Then uh, release of final products and also the how to deal with compliance and recourse. So I just want to share with you how we are going to do this. Maybe this can inspire you uh, how to deal with the uh, TPD in the uh, European Union or the uh, upcoming uh, FDA regulation. Um, so uh, for the raw material, uh, we have this um, uh, uh, lifting uh, PG, VG and uh, flavors. So uh, for the diluted lifting, actually, you know, already been classified as a uh, API, uh, which stands for active pharmaceutical ingredients, already covered by European Pharmacopoeia and the US Pharmacopoeia. Um, so, principle of the uh, CGMP, uh, such as ICHQ7, uh, is proposed to be applied for the uh, supply of lifting. Um, so, um, in the market, you can see a lot of uh, um, uh, quit smoking. Uh, 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 Liquid drug, then uh, they use lifting as an uh, active pharmaceutical ingredient for that. So, if uh, appropriate, then uh, the CEP certificate of suitability uh, that is for uh, European market uh, issued by uh, EDQM um, or the uh, drug master file DMF uh, for the US FDA may be uh, required if this um, market uh, lady. Uh, for the uh, PG and the BG, um, we uh, use the uh, EP or USB grid um, <coughs> products to make that. Um, uh, also, the um, these three ingredients shall uh, from qualified supplier uh, and approved by your uh, QA. Uh, for flavors, um, we use a flavor uh, which comply with all the regulation uh, by uh, EU and the uh, US. So for specification, uh, establish according with the uh, pharmaceutical grade requirement, and for test uh, we use the um, GMP QC lab uh, before it's being used for manufacturing, and the uh, test result should confirm to the established specification. Uh, for storage, um, uh, it must have a material storage requirement and, uh, which been uh, uh, compliant. And, 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 and the uh, lifting uh, actually is a high toxic uh, product. So that being have to be controlled uh, by the uh, double uh, check personnel and the double uh, lock uh, management system to do that. So this is for raw material. Then uh, for uh, facilities and equipment. So you can see uh, from an uh, environmental point of view, uh, equipment and the pipeline and uh, personal protect equipment uh, for this three uh, area, you can see, for environment, uh, the e-liquid is manufactured in a specified class D uh, clean area with the independent air condition, a system to avoid uh, uh, contaminations. The equipment and the pipe, uh, which are in contact with the, uh, all the material, uh, we use the uh, stainless steel uh, 304 and uh, 316L, uh, which you can see uh, all the stainless steel in these two pictures um, all use this kind of uh, stainless steel in our workshops. And also glove box and the long pipe uh, respiratory system are uh, installed to keep the uh, safety of our operators during the uh, uh, operation. So this also uh, will be the benefit uh, for the uh, operator and also for the product. So when, when we go to the uh, documentation part, so we have the uh, master uh, batch records. Um, this uh, I established uh, by our, our production department and become effective ones approved by our QA. And uh, all the records uh, is uh, archived. Uh, for tester records, the tester of the liquid are established by our QC and become effective ones approved by our QA. And the records also uh, be archived. Uh, treating and uh, uh, qualify uh, the production operators and the QC uh, and analysis uh, all been trained and qualified before operation. And all the training records uh, is five. Is five. So then uh, it goes to the release of the uh, final products, which is a uh, e-liquid uh, for customer. 
we uh, normally have these uh, three uh, general steps. The first of all is uh, testing our GNPQC lab with a validated method, uh, which is a pharmaceutical uh, follow ICHQ7. Uh, then our QA uh, response to review master batch records and the test uh, records, and uh, our QA will issue a release order for a fan of our e-liquid product. Then the warehouse paper released the final product according to their uh, release order. So uh, this is uh, our, our general procedure for uh, final release the uh, e-liquid. Then uh, when the products go to our customer, then finally go to the market. So if we meet any uh, compliant, uh, how we can handle compliant, and uh, how we have their recall uh, in, uh, uh, system in place. So this is all uh, quality related to compliance, whether uh, received orally or in writing should be uh, recorded and investigated according to the writing procedure. Uh, and we all triggered by any batches has problems such as uh, you know, uh, dedication of substance of concern, uh, leaking device or, or product safety, etc. Uh, and the oral recall, uh, you know, the, the scope is uh, from sale across the whole supply chain and the recall from a consumer who have uh, purchased. So um, this is very quickly uh, that you know, you know uh, what we said um, uh, in, in practice. Uh, the standard have been complied in the manufacturing uh, practice. So this jump to the conclusion. Uh, this is what we think, you know, uh, for the conclusion, and also this is for the future. Uh, we shall advancing a product standard a strategy that uh, yield strong standards to improve uh, public health, and uh, and at the meantime, this can uh, withstand the legal challenges. Um, the CJP guideline, uh, such as uh, ICHQ7. Uh, can be a very useful uh, reference. So I'm not saying you know everything has to be followed by the uh, ICFQ7 because that is a pharmaceutical standard. But this really provides a good uh, framework to you know how we can to, to can uh, use something from the idea or from the um, uh, system you know to uh, 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 get our uh, e-liquid manufacturing standards. And also they control the uh, quality of the uh, material and the environment of uh, manufacturing too control the impurity and uh, uh, contaminations. Well, this includes the uh, illiquid ingredients and uh, potential microbial uh, contaminants. Uh, last but not least, uh, it's really our, our responsibility you know, to uh, manufacture this safe, effective and high quality uh, illiquid and uh, it's secret uh, for the uh, people who use the products. And uh, thank you.